Welcome back to Tech 53. Doing stupid stuff again. <laughs> I have to start with that one. Um, today, it's not a DIY, it's not a product plug. It's gonna be an informative video. I think you guys all know that we are really into brakes and braking and all that stuff. And knowledge of what works for master and booster in the Mark I bodies, the A1 chassis. I think there's a lot of information that needs to be bundled in one place and that's what we're going to be explaining today. We're going to be explaining what boosters come on which car, which masters are compatible with each boosters and what they compromise and what they achieve. Number one being said, all the A1 chassis came with a 19 millimeter except for the uh, non-power brake early ones. Uh, a 19 millimeter master cylinder. The big brake kit having a bis bigger piston size uh, does need a bigger master size at the same time. Why does it need the bigger master size? Um, it's because the fluid displacement on a bigger piston will have more throw or travel in your pedal. So instead of having feel with a firm foot, it's gonna be a traveling without any restriction or without any input of force. I really like to have the force input on the pedal to get the brake feeling. On most of the modern cars, that's not the point. But on the A1 chassis, I think it's important, especially if you're spirited driving. All right, let's start with boosters. I will show a bit later on in the, in the video which model I'm talking about and because we need to go in different cars, so. Three possibilities, early European built, Westmoreland, and late. Early built are the ATE and FAG style boosters with a eight inch or so, I think it's seven something diameter. That booster, the bolt pattern, will be compatible with the 19 millimeter and our own Tech 53 product, 22 mil, that is a bolt-on to the earlier boosters. They have to be the European one because the one that come from Westmoreland, I'll show after, it has a different bolt pattern. It's wider, and it doesn't have the same throw here on the, on the master. I mean, on the yeah, on the master. The other one that you have is the Bendix style booster that came on the Westmorelands. Uh, those were from like 80 to 84 built in the States. Those will take the same kind of master cylinder saying that there's two different ones here. We can see these are the earlies and these are the lates. The late actually come out at a 45 degree angle. That's a very simple way to differentiate them both. So if you have a later master, it actually comes out at a 45 degree angle. It doesn't take the same reservoir either. All right, if we go back to the Westmoreland, the output will also be completely horizontal, but it doesn't have the bolt pattern of the European built. So three options of the booster. So early small diameter, Westmoreland, Bendix type, and late Mark I. So when we're talking about late, we're talking about 84 and a half and later. And they came in either a Cabrio or a Scirocco. So, and those boosters are nine inch in diameter. The nine inch diameter will be compatible with the ones that have the audience coming out of 45 degree angle. These are available as a standard for the, uh, either the Scirocco 16 valve is a 22 mil. There's also some other ones that are bigger in diameter, 25 millimeters that are, uh, um, 90s Audi, uh, I have to look up the part number, uh, but they're very expensive. They're like, I think they're like 500 bucks and up. So it's, it's a spendy, a little uh, upgrade if you really need to. So that being said, um, I think the next step is to go in the cars and show the boosters themselves. Hey, guess what? We're not in the car. <laughs> Find one in the pile. The unloved. Bendix booster, which I don't care for very much. Because when you have this booster, you have actually no alternative than to get the OEM 19 mil 
diameter master and there's no upgrades and these are getting rarer and rarer to get and even the boosters and it's like yeah whatever if you have one you have one i know so to show you these are the ones that go on the european ones volt pattern is really not the same and also the length and the rod and everything and the mechanism is not the same so not compatible with anything else all right uh let's go see downstairs we'll show i don't know if i have yeah i think i have an early one and a late one we'll see let's go all right in the shop to show you the next one late type booster nine inch one thing that it is easy to do is if you measure here it's gonna be nine inches so right there you know it's a late booster then again like a, uh, I've discussed before, 84 and a half and later, all the way up to 89 uh, for the Scirocco's and 92 for the Cabriolets. Show you something. These are the ones that are available for the 16 valve Scirocco and uh, another few models. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have those 12 valves from the show 16 valve Scirocco, but I'm keeping them. Um, as you can see, this is the one that actually fits on right here. Right, so this one's shorter, and uh, if you decide to get one out of a donor car, be sure to take also everything that comes with it the clevis, the nut, and the other part that actually is on the pedal cluster itself. Use those parts from the donor, you have to have those parts together, right? So when you get what the, 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 um, the booster, be sure to get the mating parts going all the way to the pedal. All right, here we go. This is a small diameter early type. You can see this one's a lot smaller, number one. It's not a late because it actually has the output going horizontal. If you have this early type, ATE or FAG, you do have the opportunity of just getting the master that we have that we made to our own specs that were the only one in the world to have a 22 millimeter diameter piston for a Mark I application, direct bolt on on the early masters. You know, the world has it. So go ahead and buy it. So that's option number two. An option I didn't think about putting out to be before, uh, and you know, a lot of people do it Mark IIs, but mostly Mark IIs. Uh, you can get the booster and the master directly off the Mark III. The length of the rod is not exactly the same. Uh, you have to lengthen it, so a lot of people just take another piece of uh, threaded rod and just weld onto it and get the proper length in order to reach the pedal. So, yeah, that's another option. So, four options right there. Um, I think the most popular one is to get a late nine inch booster, which is getting a lot more scarce and not easy to source anymore. Um, that's the reason we came out with our new solution for the uh, 22 millimeter for the Mark one platform. That's about it. So we'll go upstairs and we'll recap just to be sure we got everything down packed. All right. Back upstairs, little recap. Option one, small booster, early type, seven inch, straight out, outs from master. You can keep it stock at 19 millimeters, or you have the opportunity to upgrade with your 22. That will give you a firmer pedal. That's what a bigger master does. It's a firmer pedal. Option two, late booster, Mark one, 84 and up. 9 inch. It will use the master with the lines of 45, always at 22. So, Scirocco 16 valve. Option 3, blah, stay with the Bendix type Westmoreland. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys, I had to do that because it's like for brake components, they suck. Okay, option 3, 
uh, usually Mark III's, uh, booster and master, then you lengthen the rod to get to your pedals. There's some other options out there too, like pedal boxes and stuff like that. You know, we can help you out. Uh, we've helped out quite a few people in uh, putting the right master sizes, depending on what kind of brake system you have with the, uh, the Willwood pedal box and uh, bias bars. We also have adjustable Willwood uh, proportioning valves. Uh, we've got pretty much anything that's needed to do your brake systems. If you have any questions on what kind of setup that's available for you in your braking system and what kind of components we can supply, reach out to us. It will be our pleasure to do so. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, small little plug here. Nice little smell good thingy. The color of the race car with every order of $250 and up, we'll put one in the box. So go to the site, buy some stuff. Thanks for joining us and keep you posted on the more videos.